I just finished one of my hot body sweat guide workouts and I thought it'd be really fun to show you an inside look into my post-workout routine. There are things I do every single day after every single workout that really help me to like make sure I avoid any muscle soreness so I have lots of energy for all of my future workouts. So if you think this video will be helpful for you, sweat the thumbs up, give it a little click and I'm gonna show you what I do. All right, so the most important thing I do after every workout is take time to stretch and foam roll. I know when you finish a workout, it's kind of the last thing you wanna do. You wanna get done and get out, but it's so important. The good news is the Hot Body Sweat Guide workouts only take like 20 or 30 minutes, so if you commit like 30 minutes for your full workout, you can still get your stretch in. Even just five minutes will make a difference. So stretching is key, like that's the very first thing I do, but stretching alone won't like help you prevent all soreness and stuff. You need a little bit more. So think of stretching like a rubber band with a knot in it. If you just pull it, stretching, that knot might like be less painful, I guess, but it'll just get tighter and tighter and tighter. It won't ever fully go away. So you do need to add foam rolling because that foam rolling in turn is like if you were to massage that knot, you could gently massage it and eventually untie the knot, which is pretty cool. So my stretch routine is in the Hot Body Sweat Guide. I just do a lot of stretches, holding them each for a minute at a time, ones like these. roll for a couple of minutes after to really to hit into those really tight knots like where you're like oh my gosh your booty and your lower back sometimes it get really sore because the foam roller helps hit those trigger points it gets a lot deeper than just stretching alone can do and really helps massage into those sore muscles so I'll just do something like this Rolling around, finding those sore, sore points, and when you feel like you're like, ugh, like almost like painful in a good way, just hold it there, breathe really deeply and really slowly, and kind of rock side to side, and that will really help get rid of any of that muscle soreness. So if you ever hear anyone ever say the word DOMS in relation to working out muscle, it stands for delayed onset muscle soreness, but basically it's just like two days later when you're like, what just happened? Like the soreness comes later, this will help prevent that. And my second tip is to hydrate. Obviously while you're working out, it's important to drink water, but you don't wanna to drink too much because it can make your muscles get tense or get little cramps. But post-workout, you wanna make sure you get plenty of fluids because when you're working out, you're getting your sweat on, you're losing those fluids and electrolytes and you need to replenish them with water. And also it'll help your body temperature get equal. So if you get really hot, if you ever get like really red, I get super red, like a cherry tomato when I work out, the water is gonna help just bring that body temperature back to normal. And it's kind of crazy, but even if you're only like 1% dehydrated, just a little dehydrated, it can slow down your metabolism, which we don't want. So stay nice and hydrated. This is the LSF day drinking water bottle. It's about a little over 20 ounces, and this is going to be just what you need throughout your day. I usually try to drink five or six of these. That's kind of a lot, but anywhere between like four and six is gonna give you what water you need throughout the day, and it's just perfect to have on hand all the time. I'm actually really thirsty right now. <laughs> all right, so my third tip for post-workout routine recovery is in the kitchen. So follow me out this way. And it's all about your nutrition. So obviously you need to hydrate after the workout, you need to stretch and do the foam rolling, but you have to make sure you're fueling your body so that you can build lean muscles, you can burn fat and your body will work for you. So the most important thing to do right after a workout as quickly as you can, like within an hour, is to make sure you get some healthy proteins and some fast digesting carbs. The easiest way to do that is in a smoothie or a shake, but you can totally eat whole foods too. I usually grab like my vital proteins. This one is the banana cinnamon. I love this flavor because I love cinnamon and I love bananas. So um, I'll do this one in a protein shake and then for a really good fast digesting carb, banana is like your best bet. So a half or a whole of banana. You can also do things like dates. You just want something that your body can soak up and get all the energy from because it needs that energy to rebuild your muscles and repair them. And if you don't give it the fuel after a workout, then it'll use like all of the, like, the proteins you already have in your body, which you don't want in that muscle, and you want to be able to build muscle, not take away. And then it's really important to think about what you're eating 
throughout your day after a workout too. So I'm always following the Hot Body Meal Plan and the Guiltless Nutrition Guide and using that to really guide my day. But it's important to think about how those foods are gonna affect your recovery process. So if you work out really hard and then you eat a bunch of junk food, you're probably gonna be even more sore the next day because you're not fueling your body the way that it needs to be fueled. So try to get things like omega-3s from salmon, from almonds, the foods that you're eating are gonna really help with decreasing inflammation. So if you ever feel puffy after a workout, that's because every time you work out, you're tearing those little muscles and those tears rebuild and repair into new muscle. But if you don't fuel it properly, then you're gonna end up just being really, really sore. And another way to help decrease inflammation is at night often, I'll make like a tea with apple cider vinegar and put some fresh ginger and some turmeric in it. And turmeric and ginger are really good anti-inflammatories too, so that'll help the muscles like calm down a little bit, relax, so that you don't get all of that soreness the next day. All right, so after I've stretched and I've done my foam rolling, I've hydrated, I got my protein in, there's one more thing I do that really, really helps me so that I'm not sore the next day for my workouts. It helps in prevention and decreasing inflammation, but for that, we gotta go into my room. All right, so the last thing I do is a contrast shower, but I, don't, I only wash my hair like once, maybe twice a week, even though I sweat. Dry shampoo is my friend. Ryan calls this my mushroom cap. It's just so I don't get like my hairline or I can just like rinse my hairline and that's it. Anyway, so contrast shower is last and a contrast shower is not just like a normal, I wanna rinse off after workout shower. It really helps flush out lactic acid. It helps decrease inflammation so that you can be less sore and you can work out harder during your next workout. And basically what you do, instead of just getting in a nice warm shower, you have to go from warm to cold. I know it's not like the most fun thing in the world, but you actually feel so much better after. It kind of detoxes your body, refreshes you. Like I always feel like really rejuvenated. Maybe it's just the cold water because you're like, ah, like wakes you up right away. But it's really, really good for your body. So try going in warm water for about a minute or two and then cold water for a minute or two and go back and forth a couple times and you'll feel so much better the next time you try to work out. All right guys, so that's just a little peek into my post-workout routine. I do this every single time I work out because consistency is really the key. And if you're consistent in all four of those things, you will decrease muscle soreness, you'll have more energy for your next workout, you won't feel as much puffiness or inflammation, and just in general, you'll feel so much better. But I wanna know what you guys do for your routine too. So if you have anything different that you're like, this seriously works, it makes such a difference for me, Katie, comment below, tell me what it is, or tell me which one of these things you're gonna start trying. And don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you guys next week for another awesome workout. Bye.